today I am pitting covers made by the YouTube channel Postmodern Jukebox against the original songs they were made from. I promise you that no artists were harmed in the making of this video. Lots of cuts there, just so you get the idea. This is PMJ's version. I love the beat in the back. Mm. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Love that. Yes! That was really creative. Nah, ow. It's the little tiny details that really make a cover song a cover song. Ah, vocal bend. I love just the tiny little nuancey changes. Again, their outfits, the way they're dancing, but also they're adding three-part harmony to this, as well as these little tiny vocal bends, really, really stylistically specific to the era that they're trying to give. You hear the shoe up, shoe up. That's really great. So as much as I loved Postmodern Jukebox version, there's still something that kind of tugs at my heartstrings, so I'm gonna have to give it to Portugal the man. Britney Spears, oops, I did it again. Ooh. I remember when this came out. I'm aging myself. She's the queen, she's the queen of all these like that. When I think of Britney Spears, I hear Iconic dance movement there. <laughs> Do you hear it? Everywhere, everywhere. And then she's also really known for, oh baby, baby, ah. Always adding the as or the ays for what could be a hard Y. In love. I find it interesting actually musically that instead of hitting in the pause that they hit with her on I'm not that instead of I'm not hit that hit innocent. I never thought of that before until just now. Post-modern jukebox version. They did this in 2015. Ooh, different time signature all together. Love that vocal bend there. You hear that? It's it's up and then down instead of or the emphasis on that accent, the weight of it is on the bottom. She did it again. I cry, cry. Huge. Did you see I'm a fool? Beautiful. Gorgeous. That's just so I love what she did there on the fall off of me. And then she got really gritty and grindy into it. Me! Really like almost double tone growl there. It was really nice texture. Let's listen to that again. So good. Now, this is what I call adding husk. Not the corn husk, the huskiness. Like this, I play with your heart. You're playing on the vowel, adding a ton of air underneath and really dropping the tongue to allow this lower, deeper, thicker sound to start engaging. I think for me, Toni Braxton was one of the first women I can remember growing up doing this. And I was like, what? What is that sound? I want to sound like. It's like this sultry, sexy, thick, lower end that's unexpected and adds a lot of interest sonically to your audience. So any female out there who wants to add some husk, it's the depression of the tongue, it's an exorbitant amount of air rushing through in this one vowel that you're really lengthening and elongating to play with to create that sound. So instead of, I play with your heart, which is just normalized, I play with your heart. It's an exaggerated, dramatized version of that vowel. Yeah. Oh, she kind of did it there too. Oh. 
love the guano tactic. Oh man, I love Hailey Reinhardt. She is so talented. You guys might kill me for this, but I'm gonna tell you that I think PMJ deserves the win on this between them and Britney Spears. Tell me I'm wrong in the comments if you have to, but that's my vote. When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. Hmm, a little pitch bender. That's interesting. I never noticed that before. You're just like an angel. Notice how he said angel and not angel. Skin makes me cry, but I'm a oh, that electric guitar is so iconic. Just those open chords, like nothing, it's just the, this huge, long, legato electric guitar that changes, yes, the chord, but it's the, this resounding, ah, sticks in the background the whole time, and it, it is, it's what you wait for in Creep, at least it's what I wait for in Creep. What the hell and the words, the lyrics of this song are so relatable. Everybody at one point in their life feels like, I don't belong here. Okay, postmodern jukebox version. This was done in 2014. Okay, I have to stop there because what she did with that word creep is just next level. She doesn't even say the P. I'm a creep. There's no need to say the P. She could have done creep and added a cry. But I love how there was this growl, this double tone in her voice, this dirt. It's just this dirty, gritty, amazing sound. And it's like too dirty to actually put the bow of the P on the word. So she just keeps going into the O. It's just really, really raw and I love it. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, this, this whole song to me is like a vocal masterclass. In fact, I reacted to this entire song, which you should also listen to because I really break down a lot more in detail what she's doing. Ooh. Beautiful vocal brow there. That was a gorgeous, flawless change after a riff into head voice from chest. Beautiful. Really interesting choice at the end also to go on that hard R with vibrato. It's almost like an ooh in that R, really beautiful. I gotta give this one to PMJ too. Haley's version vocally was just so superior and stellar to me. There were so many amazing things about that cover that I have to say, if I had to listen to one over the other, I would choose Postmodern Jukebox. Ella, Ella, Ella. You have my heart. There's that kind of backwards vibrato again. Classic Rihanna. I feel like this part of Rihanna's career was when she was in her heyday. Like she was just in her sweet spot. She was the biggest that she was. And I think her voice actually was in the best shape that it was too. Does anybody notice that that crazy fat, almost like vibratory bass in the bottom that's also very legato and very through line of the song? I never really noticed how hard that hit before, but it really adds a huge amount of heft to the chorus and a lot of hook to it as well. This song to me is just a quintessentially made pop song. It was made to be a hit and so it is. Hear it? Everybody's. Yep. Ella, Ella, Ella. Postmodern Jukebox covered this in 2015. Okay. Okay. 
but you'll still be my star. Love the rasp in his voice. In the dark, you can't see Interesting, he went in the dark. He played on that D really nicely there. My shiny car. Shiny car. And that's when you need me there. With you, I'll always share. Oh my gosh, love the tap dancing. Really cute little nod to umbrella with the umbrellas. Very nice visual there. Because when the sun shines, we shine together. You know I'd be here forever. Interesting twist. I'll always be a friend to the old man I'm sticking out. Ooh, I love that. Said I'll always be a friend to an old stick. I like that push there a little bit before the beat. Now that it's raining more than ever, know that we still have each other. Off really you quick. stand under my umbrella. Umbrella. You stand under my umbrella. Okay, I like how he emphasized the ah in a very forward way. You can stand under my umbrella. Very vintage, very period of him. He's bouncy, he's cute. His hair be messy, he don't care. Oh, girls, nice. Was that a time step there that I saw? Okay, I love this interpretation. I think it's really cute, but I'm sorry. I got to give this to Riri. There's just no beating that to me in what I saw and heard. Although it was different, I don't know if it was better. I think I would still choose to listen to Riri's version over this one, as much as I appreciate the different interpretations. Guys, do you agree with my vote on this? Do you not? Let me know in the comments box below. Now, like I said before, I reacted to the full version of Hayley Reinhardt's Creep, and it is worth watching, not just as a vocalist to hear how she does the these things, but to just see it and believe it for yourself because it is stunning. Check it out right now.